Jim. Hey everyone on YouTube, welcome Strong back motion, to the episode motion, of Pokemon motion. Um, yeah, here we go. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Unk, I like a lot of We chuck a lot of Drop and screw. Drop and screw. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Love it. And just for the sake of time, we're going to cut to my favorite part here. And fly and attack. Attack the screen. Don't risk it. <laughs> that was perfect. I didn't even know I'd make that jump on time, guys. Hey, Whoa. guys, welcome back. This is uh, Flood and Mod 14 here. And yeah, we are back home and uh, here with a back home update video. I'm just going to try to jump to the part where I fly at the screen. In. Now let's watch that where I fly on the screen in slow motion. Oh, man. So cool, man. <laughs> Attack the screen, Jones. Do it. Do it. Freaking do it. You know, life's always cooler when you do it in slow motion. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Hilarious, bro. <laughs> oh, good. Well, without further ado, guys, let me get some uh, straight, uh, shall we say, music going here. Ah, uh, yes, the other tales of Zompok too. All of this uh, music goes, by the way, goes credit goes to Roth Ryle, or shall I say Roth Real, perhaps. R O T H U R I L. He's a YouTuber. Awesome. I'm going to subscribe to him. And I'm going to like this video because this song. Is that awesome? Behold, Bleach OST four track two: The Other Tales of Zanpakuto. Enjoy. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna get a set up, and then I will be right back, guys. So, one second. There you go. All right, and I'm gonna go take a quick water search. I'll be right back. Yeah. Woo! Good to be back home, man. You gotta rock it in, man. Rock it out, rock it in, flood away. Woo! Yeah.
Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty dope. I don't know, so. Great intro for another week of Yu-Gi-Oh! Card openings, folks. And, uh, as you just saw there... Uh, yeah, as you just saw, I'm actually going to do the, uh, weekly specials real quick here. Uh, we're gonna do... We're gonna open real quick the, uh... Oh, I actually picked three out. Yeah, whoops. Go back here. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Screw it. Uh, yeah, we're going to open up three packs for Yu-Gi-Oh! We're going to open up two of the Shining Victory, as usual. Two of the Secret of Eternity. And as a bonus, since I went on vacation, three Duelist Pack Battle City. So, yeah, without further ado, I will get some music started. And let's get some appropriate music. Actually, you know what? I know this video may be banned because... because of the soundtrack I'm just about to play, but I don't care. I really don't because I love this music, and this is from Bruce Faulkner. Popular name, you may recognize it. But here goes. This is a commercial sponsored by YouTube, and it's not Bruce you Faulkner. Get a plus four. And I have to mute it right now. Okay, this is Bruce Faulkner. Here you go. Ready? There we go. It's gonna be some evil sound of music here in a minute. Just gotta let it buffer. There you go. All right. All right, that sounds that sounds about right. Ambiance sounds good. Well, I'm gonna start opening the packs for you guys. So here we go. And we're just gonna shuffle these up like we usually do. Random order, you know, pip pip cheerio, all that. Wish me luck, guys. There we go. And we'll just randomly close our eyes and kind of pick a pack here. And just cut, double cut, triple cut. I'm going to pick the first one in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Third from the right, right? One, two, three. First pack will be... Ah, Shiny Victories. Nice. It's the one I hope to pick first, so... <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. Alright. Evil! Will we open some more Amorph Age cards? Let's find out. First pack. Nice! Finite cards. I've actually been looking for this card a long time. And the reason why is very simple. The hand size limit of each player becomes three. So that's great. I love this card. It's great to just kind of throw in just in case there's an Exodia deck, you know. Really been looking for this card a while. So glad we finally got it. Next card. Oops, shit. Well, that's not good, Josh. You just dropped the cards all over the floor. I'm going to cut the video here, and I will see you all next time. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pick up these damn cards. Oh. Oh, oh God. I'm such an old man. Oh, oh God. No, Yugi. You just took all my life points. You, you shot me. You punched me in the balls with your dark magician. You bastard. Uh, I'll never forgive you for this, Yugi. Sorry, just kidding. Uh, the next card was the Kaiju Files. 
Funny, the pack actually dropped in one solid, like, stack, so <laughs> I don't even know what the rares are going to be. Luna Light, White Rabbit, nice. By the way, the rares might be mixed up, so be prepared for that. And then, nice, we get another Spirit of the Fall Wind, so that's good for our rare. And for the super rare, oh, oh, that's right. Uh, my cards might be mixed up, that's right. Uh, Raid Raptor, Pain Lotus, next card. And for our next card, we got... Oh, <laughs> yes, dude! Yes! And that, folks, is an ultra rare. Yeah, I've been looking for this one, too. The White Stone of Ancients. <laughs> yes, bro. I gotta read the effect on this. Man, that is a shiny card. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful card, man. Look at that. Wow. Oh, so shiny, so new. Mm-mm. Ah, I got my high for the week. Yeah, that's right, kids. Don't do drugs. Just buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> that joke was terrible. Wow. Well, eh, not the worst joke anyone's made about getting high. Well, it's a dragon, tuner, and effect card. Pretty cool. Once we return to in the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard, you can special summon a blue eye. So yeah, yeah, this card's pretty OP, man. Also, it's a tuner, level 1, so you can azure it, you know, pretty good with blue eyes. So... You can manage this card from your graveyard, target a blue eyes, and then add it to your hand. Wow, well, yeah. Yeah, this card's pretty dang OP, man. It's a great card. Great tuner, man. Wow, wow. <laughs> As if blue eyes weren't good enough already on their own, right? Cause morning. <laughs> nice. Uh, Avenge Vulture. And I think that should be it, right? Oh, no, no, no. We got Booster Strix, Raid Raptor. Nice. Good card. Oh, and that's all for this pack, I think. Yeah, because we already got Kaiju, so. So nice. <laughs> Ultra on the first pack, man. White Stone of uh, Ancients. Hey, I love that, man. That's a great way to start the opening. All right, next pack. Wow. Secrets of Eternity. Here we go. All right. Will we get that other Ultra Rare that in Secrets of Eternity that we have yet to get, but I won't spoil? Let's find out today on Dragon Ball Z. Gym Knight Lapis. Do -do -do Swords. And will Do -do -do Swordsman be able to defeat or perform a pal friend Donkey? The answer is yes. Yes, it will. <laughs> Next card. Go, go, go to Alice, <laughs> And for our rare, nice, we get a Cagna uh, Malbranche of the Burning Abyss. Very good card and a Burning Abyss stick. But standalone, it's not that good. If you're running it with the other Burning Abyss combos, all thumbs up, man. And next card. <laughs> nice, we get a super rare. <laughs> man, cool, that's really good. Considering this is Secrets of Eternity. Void launch, and this works with the Infernoid monsters. Infernoid. Go, my Infernoid. Use Infernoid Kamehameha. And for Infernoid, ha! Yes, that's right. Uh, yes, use Void Launch. Okay, anyway. The effect of this card, very cool looking card, by the way. Just gotta show it off a little there. Uh, during each of your standby phases, you can send up to two Infernoid monsters from your deck to the graveyard. If you control a monster that is not an Infernoid monster, send this card to the graveyard. Okay. And you guys may think, well, why mill car mill cards from your deck to the graveyard, right? Well, trust me, there's a combo in there for infernoids. For you guys who know what I'm talking about, shh, don't spoil it. Next card. Soul Strike. Good card. Great card. Uh, Zen My Day. <laughs> oh no, this is Zen Flood Day. An infernoid. Piety. Good card. And that will be the end of the Secrets of Eternity. Alright. Now I'm actually going to change the song list here. Let's get a little old school going here, man. A little season one. Season one and done, you know what I mean? Get a little bit of that voice action going. There we go. Be right back.
Okay, guys. And I know I'm doing the two pack a week special, but I've actually decided to do a little something different. This, believe it or not, is the last ten we have to do for ten sanity. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know why I've been holding out on this ten. Uh, let me see if I can think of a good reason why I wasn't opening this. Like a really good reason. Hmm. Was it good? No, no. Oh yeah, no, that was gonna be for that, so... Uh, let me think. Hmm. Uh. Now for the life of me, guys, I can't think of why I'm holding on to this tin, so... You know what? We're gonna open it right now. Behold, Flood Mod 14, Tin Sanity. And this should be the final episode of Tin Sanity, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be r randomly included in the uh, two-pack of the week special. Now, where is that, am I right? Well, anyway, there's the opening of that, and I will continue the music. <laughs> Ultra and a super out of uh, we got the ultra out of Shining Victories and the super uh, out of Secrets of Eternity, which believe me, that's good. So, already a good Yu Gi Oh video. Uh, yeah, here's the uh, standard uh, 2010 sort of uh, deck review. So, so. alright, and uh, and uh, hmm, well, let's see here. Um, I'm just thinking of should I end this video or just keep it going? I, I personally think I should keep it going, honestly. What do you guys think? Should I keep the video going? Vote on, vote in the comments right now. That's right, we're streaming live. Streaming live. No, totally not. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I don't know, man. I. I just, uh, I just don't know. Uh, what did I say? Oh, no, we don't want that. Okay. Yeah, I'm just queuing up some music here, man. You know what I mean? You know, you know how we do. We're very chill on this channel. There's, some show us, there's no need to hurry and there's no need to worry. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm just still thinking of whether I should start a new video or not. Hmm. What should I do? Hmm. Ah, we're just going to keep opening. Okay, so we're still recording, right? We're still live? Okay. Alright, so, here's the team. Here's the outside of it and stuff. And allow me to read the outside of the tin in an epic voice because I can. Yu Gi Oh! 2011 Collectible Tin. This number 10 over 10. <laughs> Work on. Includes two Storm of Ragnarok booster packs, two Extreme U Victory Pack booster packs, Yu Gi Oh! And one Generation Force booster pack, Young Duelist. One Secret Rare. Number 10, Illuminate card, and 4 super rare cards. Echren, Light to One Mark, Debelux Saber, Dark Soul, and the Tyrant Neptune. Oh no, don't use the Windscar! Windscar! And Solemn Warning, 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 Warning. Warning, Warning, Warning. Dear God. I hate that uh, computer generated voice in uh, in uh, Fallout 007. Or, no, no, no. It was in. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was in Hyperion 3. 
By the way, if, if anyone gets that random reference, I love you and thank you. Yeah, Hyperion 3. Oh, God. The game was so tough. What a platformer, right? Anyway, here's the supers. And I'm not really going to spend too much time explaining them. Mainly because I have opened and unboxed another Illuminite 10 video. So, I mean, if you really want an explanation on these rares, go watch that other video. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I hate to be sort of a prick, but, uh, I mean... Am I, am I wrong to say that? I don't think so. I don't, oh, no, seriously, go watch uh, my first opening of the uh, Illuminate 10, number 10, for 10 sanity. <laughs> wow, I can see why I was saving this 10. All these 10 puns are going to... Yeah, if I make 10 10 puns by the end of the sentence, I'm going to be a total 10 hoob. Uh, <laughs> wow, wow. Well, anyway, <laughs> we're just going to open these packs, guys. Uh, first pack will be pack number 10. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's pack number 1. Uh, Extreme Victory. Wish me luck. And, yeah, these are old 2011 packs, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, I can smell the uh, smell the sawdust and the, uh, yeah, and I can smell the abomination of a national impl implemented health care. Uh, but that's topic for another video, Josh. Uh, we have an unknown synchron. Good card. Next card. Scar of the Security. Great card. Great card. Uh, Axe Dragonute. Very good card. Very good card. In a Dragon deck. Well, really, any deck, really. It's powerful. 2,000. Uh, however, after it attacks, it's changed the defense position at the end of the damage step. But, trust me, there are ways around that. You know, as far as changing it back to attack mode, there's plenty of ways. Uh, Mech Timed Blast. Great card. Works good with the Mech Lords. And for the rare, nice, we got a TG Rush Rhino. So, eh, not the best rare, but, eh, what are you going to do? TG Jet Falcon. Yeah, a lot of TG monsters in this uh, set, but uh, it's good. Power Up Adapters. Yeah, there's Morphtronics in here, too. All kind of stuff. And an ESP Amplifier. This works with the uh, Psychic type cards, so it's pretty cool. And, yeah, we have a Gladi Gladi Gladiator Beast. Tigerius. Nice. So, that will be the first pack. Alright. And let me get some more music going here. And by the way, this is a uh, near theme A. Eh, whatever. From Death Note. So, eh, not my favorite theme ever, but it's, it's kind of one of those that, you know, keeps driving the music. Makes me always think of the next... You know, five chess, ten chess moves ahead. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There's another ten joke. Anyway, we have a Storm of Ragnarok. I activate Ragnarok. Go, Kunai with Chain. Yeah. And let me read this uh, pack, just because I can. In New Domino City, five duels are marked by destiny to uncover the secrets of the five dragons. Dragons, start your engines and get ready to duel. The future of Yu-Gi-Oh! is kicking in overdrive. Oh my god, that's the lamest catchphrase ever. More cards, more duels, more excitement. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds. Let's rev it up! Yeah, 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 let's, let's not even say we did. Let's watch the Japanese version instead and actually be semi-serious about killing people with card games. Yeah. yeah. Hate, 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 hate. Anyway, next pack. <laughs> Good God, man. I'm such a hater. Uh, Worm, Illidan. Nice. Great card. Token Stampede. Oh my God, I've been looking for this card too. Yeah, Token Stampede. Uh, tokens in attack position gain a thousand attack and can't be destroyed in battle. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty good card. Token Stampy, wow. Yeah, I've been looking for this card for a while. Anyway, Scrap Shark. Nice. <laughs> wow. Uh, Divine Weaned of the Mist Valley. <laughs> Pretty good card. And for our rare, we got a nice Legendary Six Samurai. Kageki. <laughs> and this is a pretty good one. Not an ultimate, but it's still a very good card. And we have a Sheehan Squire for those Six Samurais. A nice, oh, and this is one of those challenge words. Oh, I can say this. Gotear da morung. That is right, right? I think so, yeah. Go, gotear. It's not, yeah, because it's not gotear da morung. No. It's like gotear 
Tamu <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that uh, sixth grade German class is paying off, Josh. Damarung. <laughs> and this works with those uh, Nordic slash Asir monster decks. And yeah, speaking of Nordics, Mimir of the Nordic Ascendants. Great card, great card. And Hourglass of Courage, nice. Actually, this is the first time this card's been printed as a common, so... Yeah, there you go. Nice little history in that set. And that was the... Uh, yeah, that was the Storm of Ragnarok, so... And we'll open the one generation for so here we go. And it looks like Nier's theme's over, so... Let's pick a Yu-Gi-Oh! OST, shall we? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what a great one to go with the token card, right? There you go. <laughs> there you go. Little Karibo theme. Alright, and we do... Generation Force. Alright, wish me luck. Will we get some Flood-based cards in here? I don't know, let's find out. And you know Flood-based cards. Sea Serpent, Aqua, any water attributes, really. I guarantee we'll get at least one. Spear Fish Soldier. Aha, there we go. Sea Serpent. Nice. Gotta read it. Flood based card. So, our first Flood based card tonight. This card gains 100 attack for each of your banished Fish, Sea Serpent, and Aqua type monsters. Hey, that's pretty good. Imagine if you got like 10 or 12 of them stacked up at a play there. That's, uh, yeah, that's a 4 star monster with 2,800. Pretty good, man. And that's a Flood Mon. Flood and my Flood A Mon bust base card right there. First flood card of the video. Love it. Tyrant's Tummy Egg. <laughs> Just look at the artwork on that card. That's hilarious, bro. The guy's like devouring a, a whole plate of lobster steaks and, I don't know, turkey, whole turkey. So yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, good. Anyway. <laughs> oh, good. Next card. Nice. Double or nothing. Great card. <laughs> yeah, nice. Gusto Cador. And for the rare. There we go. Nice. We got a winged tortoise. <laughs> yeah, and this card is screaming flood to me, too. Okay, so aqua type effect. When a face of fish, sea serpent, or aqua type monster you control is banished. You can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. Nice, nice, nice. So, yeah, that's pretty good, pretty good. Works really well with the uh, sort of theme of Spearfish Shoulder Soldier going on. You know, you banish your flood based cards. So, there you go, man. Pretty good card. Mask Change, nice. And this is a really good card. Uh, basically, you target a hero that's out, right? Then you send it to the graveyard and then special summon a mask hero. Uh, from the extra deck with the same match. Yeah, that's a really good card. And it doesn't say the level has to be the same either. No, no, wow. Yeah, that's OP. That, that card is really OP right there. Uh, nice. And we have a Utopian Aura. Nice. <laughs> really good. Really, this card can work in any deck, so it's pretty good. And we have a Crash Bug Z. Previously on Crash Bug Z. And we have the uh, Hullification uh, done by Wonder Weiss. Oh, I'm sorry. That is a Onigami combo. This has nothing to do with Bleach whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. Those aren't hollows. Those are lies. The cake is a lie, bitch. <laughs> wow. Random references for the win, Josh. Anyway, our internet just went down, but that's okay. I'm going to keep recording. Uh, next pack, because we only got two left to go, right? Yeah, I'm going to keep recording. Extreme Victory. Let's finish this up pretty quick here. Yeah, I'll fix the internet later. Katakuri. Kawamachi. Nice. And we have a red carpet. Nice. <laughs> Classic. Gotta love that red carpet. Let's roll out the red carpet. Oh, uh, Madonna must be here. Or Angelina Jolie. Uh... <laughs> I know the secret. <laughs> oh god, another tyrant's tantrum. Nice. <laughs> you just got that card. Uh, so I kind of hate getting duplicates, but that's, that one I don't. That's actually a real, very good card, despite the hilarious picture. And for the rare, nice. We get Call Infinity. Very good card. 
Works good with those mech lord decks, as I've said before. But I, I needed an extra copy anyway, so. And we got the ESP amplifier for the psychics again. Nice, we get the mech lord factory. Wow. It's actually a really good card. So when the mech lord's up and selected as a attack target, you can select one mech lord army monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, and then destroy uh, whatever attacked your monster. So that's really good, really. That's a great card. Even though it's just a common Morphtronic Lantern. And this will shine some light on your opponent's attempt to defeat you. Yeah. And nice, we get a Mech Lord Army of Weisel. And this is just the beginning of the greatness of the Mech Lords. So, there you go. And that is all of that pack. Uh, for the final pack, we have Storm of Ragnarok. And do we have time? Well, I guess we do. Ah, I did this, this video sort of faster. I don't know, most of my videos, I don't try to be like Simply Unlucky or those other YouTubers. You know, just hurry through the card. I mean, uh, I like to explain and sort of do combos. Man, turns out some people like my videos that way, you know. Sort of chillax, you know, sort of, you know, sort of just, I mean, why the rush, right? Mm. If you're really going to do some YouTube videos, you could at least offer some, you know, some good dueling advice. I mean, I even go over some of the common cards, and <laughs> trust me, as you guys have seen, some of the common cards I pulled, even the commons, I mean, they're like really good, even though they're just commons. I value every card. That's just my ninja way. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cyber Shields. <laughs> All these references. <laughs> it's killing me. Cosmic Compass. Oh, man. <laughs> what a great card, man. I love it. I love it. Funny looking and good. Six strike, triple impact. <laughs> Man, I'm pretty. But yeah, well, uh, this works with six samurai decks and it has three optional effects. So, long story short, yeah, it's a common card, but it's pretty OP. Yeah, I'm not going to go over it, but man, that is a card you want for your six samurai deck. In fact, you probably want three of them. Just saying, bro. Just say it. Warm Elidon. And for the rare, what do we get? I wonder. Nice, another uh, Kageki. Cool. Hey, I'll take it. Because uh, the more Kagekis you got, the better. Yeah, I didn't read this card, but when it's a normal summon, you can special summon a level 4 or lower 6 Samurai from your hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's very good. And also, while you control another face-up 6 Samurai with a different name, this card gains 1,500 attack. Yeah, so it's basically got going to get 1,700 no matter what, as long as... You use its effects correctly and successfully. So, there you go. Very good card. Watt Mole. Nice. <laughs> I was looking for another one of these for my Thunder Watt deck. Watt Key. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that, that key looks awesome, though. Seriously. The artwork. Love it. I love everything about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Face up Watt Monsters. You control can attack your opponent directly this turn. Yeah. Yeah, you guys see what I mean? Like, this is just a common card. But imagine, like... Your attack points are set, right? With all five of your Watt monsters, and you do have five out, and you play this card, it's over. You know, you can direct attack, just make sure you seal their uh, spells and traps. Oh, how can you do that? Oh, I don't know, play a little trap called Forced Ceasefire. Yeah, if you play that, no other car traps can be activated this turn, so. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And then all you have to worry about is counters in the hand. And if you already have a continuous trap, oh, let's say Mind Drain? Yeah. Can't activate counters from the hand or effects, so there you go. Game over. Look, look. Yeah, that's a great card. Mimiator. Nice. Welcome back. And we have a nice, a Nordic relic. Levatien. <laughs> Man, I got that name right. Nordic relic. Levatien. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, man. And that is it, folks. Well. That was a pretty good video, I must say. Well, the video started out pretty strong here with some of the uh, some of the ultras and supers from the uh, most recent series, and we finally finished, finally finished, Ten Sanity. Yes, believe me, guys, that is a load off of my mind because I love to finish projects. You know, I don't like to leave anything undone. <coughs> Excuse me, or. Uh, <coughs> You know, just sort of hanging in the air, so... Oh, I'm just reviewing sort of some of what stuff we got, though. By the way, some of the rares and some of the good cards, really. Um, 
<coughs> really that red carpet and an unknown seek run two pretty good cards so uh, but uh, yeah guys um, we did pretty good on the uh, pulls Axe Dragonuts, yeah man some really good old school cards in here but yeah with that we are finally done at long last with the summer of Tin Sanity and believe me that is a load off my mind as I said just procrastinating it really ugh. You know, it itches at my last core, so... Little review here, Solemn Morning. Of course, the Illuminite comes in the uh, tin, so... Yeah. But yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad to be completed with tin sanity. I mean, that was done in summer, so... Well, but I didn't do too bad, Josh. I mean, summer just ended... You know, the... Uh, the fall... You know, the... Summer solstice just ended about ten days ago, so I didn't do too bad. Just did ten days of procrastination nation, so it's not bad, Josh, not bad. So yeah. And of course we got the Watt the one turn kill Watt card. Watt key. <laughs> I've really been looking for that too, so pretty glad about that. Alright, well with that guys, I want to thank you for joining me in this video. And yeah, I'm just going to sit here on the couch and then get up and end the video. This is Flooding Mon 14 here. Yeah, we're signing out, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. <laughs> wow, me and me stick my tongue out. <laughs> What's the deal, man? Oh, I'm just so glad to be back home, man. So glad. So glad to be back home. So glad to have another project finished. Well, I will see you all next time on Flood Mod 14 videos. Stay tuned for more.